Hello friends! Today I have decided to do a CD collection for you guys. Why am I so small? <laughs> I'm looking at my viewfinder. Why am I down so low? Let me fix this up. Oh, well that's not any better, is it? So I have got a huge selection of CDs. A lot of them are my dad's old CDs that I've kind of borrowed from him over the years. Um, I don't regret it because they're great CDs. So I am just going to show you guys every single CD that I own. Oh my God, the pile is huge. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with CDs that I keep off my bookshelf. Then I'm going to go on to the CDs that I do keep on display on my bookshelf. So um, the CDs that I don't keep on my bookshelf um, is ones that I've had for a long time. Um, since I was younger. <laughs> First CD, 100% hits, the best of 2005. Pink, Can't Take Me Home. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not uh, her best album. Look, I love Pink. <sighs> I bought this at a market and uh, I'm, I'm, <sighs> I'm just not gonna say anything more. Pink, Live in Europe. The best ever summer party album. You know when this is from? 1998, the year after I was born. It's got some good ones on there. Now that's what I call music number 79. This is oldish, I think. Oh, it's got Someone Like You by Adele, so it's not that old. Oh my god, I also bought this one in a market. Avril Lavigne, Don't Tell Me. What's it got on it? Don't Tell Me, Don't Tell Me Acoustic and Take Me Away. Good one, good one, love Avril Lavigne. Oh my god. The Shrek 1 soundtrack. Best of Christmas, 27 Christmas songs and stories. Not even gonna lie, I don't actually think there are any proper songs on this CD. It's literally telling stories about Christmas. I don't know why I bought it. Misunderstood by Pink. I think that this is probably my favorite album by Pink. It's so good. I've got a um, Paul Tabbitt hairdressing card in here. My playlist, the best music from today's biggest stars. Ooh, what year? 2008? Ooh. Oh my god, Jesse McCartney's Beautiful Soul. Who else lived by this album when they were in primary school? Because I certainly did. Vanessa Carlton, Be Not Nobody. Okay, A Thousand Miles is actually one of my favorite songs in the whole entire world. It's not even in my all time favorites playlist. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, great album. Recommend it to everyone. Now, Spring 2005! What have we got on here? I don't even know most of these songs. What the hell? Doo Doos and Woe O's by Ch Chiss Casey. Oh my god, Kiss Chasey. <laughs> the Sound of White by Missy Higgins. Untitled by Simple Plan. Oh my god, that's such a great song. You're Beautiful by James Blunt. Dare by The Gorillas. I love The Gorillas. Try This by Pink. I think this is probably my second favorite Pink album next to Misunderstood. Oh my god, Beautiful Skills. Beautiful Skills. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Mindfulness Skills, Volume 1. This has got five tracks on it. Introduction, Mindfulness of Breathing, Mindfulness of Emotions, Leaves on a Stream, and The Observing Self. It's an anxiety meditation CD, if you couldn't tell. <sighs> Songs for Leah. A must say very beautiful um cd that my old boyfriend made me and i still listen to the songs that are on there because he has great taste in music speak now by taylor swift i actually saw this from my mum. um hate and judge me all you want but i love taylor swift and her music just putting it right out there i think her music is really awesome 1989 is up there in like my top five favorite albums Mistaken Identity by Delta Goodrum. This is such a beautiful album. When was this made? 2004. Oh my god, this is 12 years. Is that right? Is it? 2004. Oh my god, this album is 12, 12 years old? Why am I shaking so much? Look at my hand. Can you guys see that? Why am I shaking so much? I can't even like hold this CD properly. What the hell? Look at it! What is... Whoa! What is happening with my hand? Um, this album is... is... I don't actually know what it's called. I think it's just the untitled... Untitled... The self-titled album by White Lies. I bought this 
for five dollars on sale at JB Hi-Fi because I love looking in their sales section for new music and this was one of the CDs that I bought and it's actually really really cool so check out White Lies if you don't know them. Bricks Are Heavy by Al7. This is one that I've stolen from my dad. Um, Al7 are cool. Pretend We're Dead is like my <laughs> year 8 anthem because I listen to it so much with my sister. Year 8? Nah, like grade 6. When this is made? 1992! Oh my god! 1992. The annual 2010. Now this was my year 8 anthem. I <laughs> was only ever allowed to listen to the first CD because apparently... So there's there's three CDs on it. There's John Course, um, The Aston Shuffle and Goodwill. I was never allowed to listen to The Aston Shuffle or Goodwill because apparently they were too rude. But the John Course CD um, is just great. <laughs> Now I'm moving on to CDs that I do keep on my, uh, my bookshelf. On display is all of these. Plus these. <laughs> Flyleaf, I think this is their self-titled album again. Great CD. I listened to this so much with my sister when we were younger. 2005 to 2006. Such a good album. I think this is another self-titled one by the Screaming Jets. Is it self-titled? I can't see anything else other than a gorilla and the screaming jets down the side. Oh, that's a great album. Also stolen from my dad. AM by Arctic Monkeys. It's upside down. There we go. Love Arctic Monkeys. They're one of my favorite bands. This may not look like anything, but it's the Black Album by Metallica. Um, seriously great album though. All right. Um, <laughs> Bowling for Soup goes to the movies. If you don't listen to Bowling for Soup, what are you doing with your life? Seriously, they are so so great their songs they have such like a good mixture of serious songs and um like comedic sort of songs so check them out this is another one that i got from the sales section in jb hi-fi and it's pure is it, uh, it's anthems by pure love um and this is a really great cd i really like pure love they're really cool five seconds of summer self-titled album do we really need anything more than that i don't think so i actually don't own Sounds good, feels good on CD because I bought it on iTunes when it came out. Plus, I downloaded it on Spotify when I bought Spotify Premium. Plus, I bought the vinyl, so I don't have it on CD. Death Magnetic by Metallica. Labor of Love by Woodlock. If you don't know who Woodlock are, they are a local band. They're from Melbourne, where I live, and I'm actually... I wouldn't say friends with them, but I know them, like my family knows them. We see them busking all the time in Melbourne and they always recognise us and say hey. Um, and we are familiar with each other, so that's cool. They're kind of like a little indie, folky kind of band and they are awesome. They've also signed the inside. I've actually talked about Woodlock albums in one of my like one of my first videos. I think it was a favourites video. It's like it wasn't my very first November favourites video, but it was another favorites video it was in there so yeah yeah give them a listen up all night by one direction judge and hate all you want if you don't like one direction keep it to yourself please because these were the first band one direction was the first band that i ever like full-on crazy felt obsessed with and um yeah oh my god what's this zap for an exclusive message from one direction what? This was never on there. I bought this off eBay. <laughs> it never came with it. Oh no, this came on the back of, um, oh, their, their DVD. Ah, oh, what's it called? This, is it called This Is Us? Yeah. This is, yeah. Anyway. The Best Damn Thing by Avril Lavigne. This album is the best damn thing. I freaking love this album. I've loved Avril Lavigne for so long. Lemons by Woodlock. It's signed... I'm Not Dead by Pink. We don't need to say anything more. This album is beautiful. Uh, Noiseworks Greatest Hits. This is In Between Dreams by Jack Johnson. I listen to this uh, most mornings on my record player because my record player also has like a little CD input bit and this is a great morning album. So. This, this boy is, I am his biggest fan, hands down. I love him so much. It is Joe Dolman. He deserves so much more attention. He only has like 2,000 subscribers on YouTube or whatever. Like, he, 
he, he deserves so much more attention than what he gets. He deserves so many more subscribers and people buying his things. And I am literally his biggest fan. I love him and his music so much. And I bought this before I had my own PayPal account, so I bought it with my mum's PayPal account. He wrote to Dawn. Dawn is my mum. I was the one who paid for the CD and he wrote to Dawn because it was my mum's PayPal account. And I got it. I got it and uh, nearly started crying. <laughs> but, you know. Joe Dolman. Look him up if you haven't already. He's on Spotify too, so look him up on Spotify. Now, every Vamps fan out there is going to hate me because of this, but my one of my old friends bought me Wake Up by the Vamps, the album. She bought it for me for my birthday last year. And, uh, oh my god, but it's got a, it's got a free concert DVD on it. Oh my god, what? But, um, if you're gonna hate me, go ahead and hate me because I actually haven't listened to, to this album. And it came out, like, what, September last year or something? It's been nearly a year and I still haven't listened to this album. I am the worst fan. <laughs> oh my god. I've listened to Wake Up, I Found a Girl, Burn, Cheat Up, Boy Without a Car. Boy Without a Car is my favourite that I've listened to of the songs. It's a good one. All for One by The Screaming Jets. I love The Screaming Jets. They're so cool. Best of Def Leppard. What? Yeah, what? Uh -huh. Back in Black by ACDC. This is pretty much most of these are my dad's albums. Like the Noise Works ones and stuff. The Def Leppard one is my dad's. Pretty much like all the old sort of 80s, 90s sort of rock bands like this are all my dad's CDs. So I sold this from him. <laughs> Oops. This is my sister's album, but this is Within Temptations, um, The Heart of Everything. I love Within Temptation. They are so awesome. Blink-182's greatest hits, because I love Blink-182 with a great passion. And their new album, California, is freaking sick. Too Fast for Love by Motley Crue. Another Year 8 anthem. The <laughs> Hardstyle Mix Masters. Number one, Headhunters. Oh, I don't really actually know how to sell, say that. Hardstyle Mix Masters, Headhunters, album number one. I love every song that's on this. <laughs> if, you, if you've never heard this before, which you probably haven't because it's not very well known or anything like that. My sister just bought it willy-nilly when she was like 14 or something, so like six, seven years ago. Um, but it's basically like the annual 2010 where it's kind of like hardcore techno music and it's pretty much the only kind of techno music that I can handle which is weird because it's the heaviest of all heavy techno music but I love it I don't know what it is it's just it kind of intrigues me I don't know Appetite for Destruction by Guns and Roses you know what really makes me angry is when people wear band shirts of bands that they don't listen to I don't know what it is but it makes me so mad like why why would you want to go around representing and wearing merchandise from a band that you've never listened to like it happened with all of the Ramones t-shirts like I actually listened to the Ramones so I bought a heap of their t-shirts and my sister and I love listening to them they have great music but why would you go out and buy like a Guns N' Roses shirt or a Rolling Stones shirt or or like a, a Ramones t-shirt when you don't even listen to that band. Why? Why is that like a really cool thing to do nowadays? Listen to the bands that are on your t-shirts. That's all I'm saying. This album makes it into probably, definitely my top five favorite albums and it is Kids in the Street by the All American Rejects. These people are so underrated. Like Gives You Hell and Dirty Little Secrets are their two most popular songs and Honestly, they have way better songs than that. If you like um, old time lowish um, mixed with uh, like Taking Back Sunday, um, not heavy but sort of like pop punky rocky sort of music, listen to this album because it's amazing. My favorite on this is the Fast and Slow demo. I love all of their demos, they're so good. So good, so good album, so good! Ah, uh, my auntie bought this for me when I was really little. Um, it's the Hanson Middle of Nowhere album. Yep, mbop. Mm mbop, mm ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do-ba-do. 
Ed Sheeran's Live at Wembley CD plus DVD. This album is 100% worth listening to if you haven't listened to it, which I don't know why you haven't. Why haven't you listened to it? Ah, oh, The Best of White Lion. I forgot that I had this in there. This is my dad's. My dad loves White Lion, so naturally I love them too. They're cool. And my last CD is The Cult. Uh, the Cult Sonic Temple, which is a great CD too. Um, yeah. So, I have filmed for 21 minutes now. Probably going to... I'm going to keep in every single CD that I have, otherwise then it wouldn't really be my CD collection, would it? It'd just be half my CD collection. But I'm probably going to cut out like the little... some talking bits, because I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. Um, but if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and go down below and subscribe. I will have all my social media links down there and I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's Leah. Today I have got a video that I am super duper excited for because I've been wanting to take a while now. And I'm finally coming around to the time to do it because finally I have purchased the world's best item. <sighs> oh my god, it's so hard to hold up. <gasps> No! <laughs> Seek refuge! They've fallen! <gasps> oh my god. Uh, one's broken. It's the Avril Lavigne one. Oh no, it was already like that. Never mind. My hair smells good. I washed it with peppermint shampoo like an hour ago. <laughs> also, I downloaded a new editing software, so if this video looks super awesomely rad with like a cool outro or something, I don't know. That's why. It's because I got a cool new editing software for free. What? What's that? Leah's becoming a professional? What? It's all happening.